Hey Bougies and welcome to my channel Broke Bougie Glamour TV and I want to say hey to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Sorry it took me a while to make a video but I've been having a lot of things going on in my life. Unfortunately out of my control. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background because it seems like every time I move I move to a street that they always doing work road work on the street. And if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I just moved to my new place, my new apartment, two bedroom apartment on the ground level, like first floor in February of this year. And I'm still like getting an apartment together, but I'm like 95% finished. And my color scheme is purple, gray, a little bit of white and silver. So I said, if I don't do this video today, I'm not gonna do it. So that's why I'm not dressed, no makeup, no nails, my hair not done. I got in my robe, I got from Amazon, it's so comfortable and cozy. And if you read the title, you know, it's about my brand new sectional. I've been waiting at least about four or five months for the sectional. This pandemic with everything going on, trying to get furniture was a hassle and a waiting time but it's finally here and my birthday is coming this saturday so it was like an early birthday gift for me i'm so excited also i will put a video in this video about my old couch that i had how it was in here because my last apartment i had a two bedroom with a separate dining room my living room and dining room was separate and the kitchen was like combo with the dining room now this apartment i have like a living room dining room combo and the kitchen is off to itself so it's like I had a hard time trying to find out like how I really wanted this apartment to be. Um, I have so much lighting in this apartment. So I gave away when I moved here, my lamps, I had like tall lamps. I had a coffee table set. It was like, to me, it was like too big. And I say, you know what, I'm just going to get a big sectional. And if I had company, they could just use the, you know, foldable tables. Cause most of my company, they like to just eat they food on a platter, you know, or a tray or whatever like that on a lap. They don't even want the foldable table. So I got rid of a lot of things. I sold a lot of things. I had a big old dining room table in here with four chairs. I had to get rid of that. And I got like a bar stool like area also. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just make it work for me. It's just me and my family living here. And I'm just gonna do like chairs, like comfortable chairs. And then if somebody wants a table, I just pull out the foldable table, whatever. You gotta do what you have to do. I live in New Jersey, the apartment square footage is not that big. So I have to work with the space that I have. So I know down south apartments much bigger than up north, but hey, I'm working with what I got. I'm blessed. It's a gray sectional three piece. Um, it came with like five pillows, accent pillows. So what I do is I order pillow covers and pillow inserts from off Amazon. And I like Mitch Mac like decor, like pillows, different textures, designs, you know, whatever. So I don't like my pillows to be matchy matchy, but a lot of my pillow covers came single or if it came two in a pack, you would see like it's two of the pillowcases the same way. But usually I just like my pillows all to look different, fun, you know, you need different things. And let me not forget to tell you where my section who came from. It was on Raymore and Flanagan on the website, but I got a better deal with the same couch from my local, you know, furniture store around in my area. So it, you know, included the shipping with it. And it just worked out a better deal. But if you do like the couch bougies, you know, I'll be trying to hook your bougies up. I will leave like a picture or something like that of how it looks on Raymore and Flanagan and the name of it or whatever and you just get it if you want. But this kind of been hard to get because every time I go check or whatever, even like I had to wait for the local furniture store to get it. Like the shipment, like first it's in stock, then it's not in stock. So I'm gonna show how I wanna rearrange like the pillows to make it more my style. I know back in the day, some sofas would come with the pillows, with the pillow inserts, like an actual pillow insert in the inside. These pillows came with like some like, look like doll baby here, like stuffing in it. Thank God for the pillow inserts from Amazon. I like to get like my pillow inserts from this one company off Amazon. And I like the fact that they come four in a pack, they come compressed, they soft, but they bounce back. You know how some pillows you sit on it and it just get squashed? No, these, they bounce back. So these are the pillows, right? Got the zipper. I hope you can see it. I'm a little shorty <laughs> and this is what it came with, like this stuffing. This you have to make sure you stuff it back correctly in all, you know, four corners of the pillow or it's not gonna look right. I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna just put these in my closet, the five pillows that came with it and get to working on what I wanna do with my pillow inserts and my pillow covers. So this is the section. And like I said, I have a living room, dining room combo and it's not that big in here. Um, I have my cat condo in the back. I have my little cat up there. Osiris, he's up there sleeping. I have two cats, so I don't know what a girl cat is at. But they're saying that this material 
is like microfiber because I try to keep microfiber or velvet in my apartment because my cats they like to scratch up any other material like if it's leather or anything like that but to me this feel more like polyester I don't know they trying to say it's microfiber and polyester blend but I'm hoping my girl cat Isis don't scratch it up but like I said before this is the three-piece section of in the charcoal color gray. I have my little ottoman right here that I got from Home Goods and like a little tray I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Some Mars shoes, Mars shoes, my Bath & Body Works candles, my Amazon coasters, my lighter and snuffer set for the candle from Amazon. So I'm trying to make it happen. My little lavender ottoman. But anyway, it's about the sectional. <laughs> so I'm just trying to give you an overview. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on this side yet. Don't mind that, I have to um, put some touch up paint right there. But I don't like the fact that I got this thermostat and this filter right here. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do back here. But for right now, the cat condo has to stay right there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how it looked. Okay, Boogie, so these pillows I already had. I had them on like, I have a purple accent chair off to the side by my window. And I had two of these over there. No, yeah, I had two of these over there, but it really wasn't supposed to go on that. It was supposed to go on my section of this here now. And it's furry and suede in the back with a zipper. Featured this pillow in another video that I made on how to make your sofa look new again. So check that video out. I'll leave like a link or something in the video down below. But anyway, you get two of these in that pack because they're so soft. Made well. And the insert also came from Amazon. I got two of these lavender, like crushed velvet pillowcases came two in a pack from Amazon and also the insert. And I will be putting my throw blanket that I got from Kirkland's like in the summertime on clearance back on this sectional. It's like a lavender and white color, like a faded look, it's so soft. I love throw blankets because I'll be so cold. So all the time, all year round. So I got these two pillowcases from Amazon. It came in like the Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna leave like pictures of the company or whatever like that if you're interested. So you get two in a pack. I love the shade of purple. I have so many different shades of purple and grays in my apartment. Nothing has to be the same unless you want it to be. It's a microfiber material. It has zigzags on it. You have it either way, up or down. And it has a zipper on it. You know, the closure part is a zipper. It's plain in the back. And like I said, you get two in a pack. So if you've been watching any of my hauls, I featured this pillow in one of my hauls. It's so pretty, I got it from Amazon. It's silver metallic with like a big rhinestone in the middle and it's plain in the back. I wish it had one more rhinestone right here, but it's still pretty. I just got one because it was a little bit pricey for this pillow. So it's so gorgeous, it's so pretty. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on a section or I might keep it on my accent chair, my purple accent chair um, that I got from Walmart. It's like a tough style chair. I think I might keep this over there. Cause I don't want it to get like messed up because nobody sits on that chair. Uh-uh, no way. You know I'm happy because I had all these pillows in my closet waiting for my section for like almost five months to come. So I'm so happy to put these pillows finally where they belong. So I just got this one pillow from World Market, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this because for some reason it's showing up like it's burgundy. Like that um, microfiber feel also. These are the inserts that I got from Amazon. You get four in a pack. They come compressed, but I had already opened them up. So, they so soft, bounce back, so nice, and I love them. I have two of these that I got from Amazon. They are handmade, and they sat in throw pillow covers. They have butterfly, like silver metallic butterflies on it, in the eggplant shade. I have one on my um, purple accent chair. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on my accent chair and just swap out the other pillow or put it on my section. I'm gonna play around with everything and see. So let me open it up so you can see how it looks. Like this is it, it's like satin with silver metallic butterflies. I love butterfly print. So I have a lot of butterfly like items in my apartment. It's plain in the back. It comes with a zipper. And I believe most of my pillow covers are like 20 by 20 and my inserts. Um, I think I only have like one pillow cover, maybe like 18 by 18 and an insert 18 by 18. And I feature, like I said, all these pillows and pillowcases and other videos. So I will leave the links down below. Go back and watch my shopping hauls, bougies. <laughs> so I got this canvas pillow cover. It's just like, like a tote bag. And it's kind of like cream, it's not white, but I love pineapples. I was so happy they had a purple one, but it's plain in the back. 
I wish it had it in the bag, but it doesn't matter because you're not going to see the back of the pillow anyway. But it's good to have like the print on the back of the pillow cover sometimes in case the front get dirty. You, you want to just switch it around real quick if you got company or something like that, but it's okay. And it comes with a zipper also. So from Big Lots in the summertime, I told you bougie, I've been holding these pillows. I got these donut shaped pillows. I love donut shaped pillows, like pinwheel style pillows. I got three of these from Big Lots and I got one on my bed. So I'm gonna use two, see how it looks on the sectional. It's just a, like microfiber material, like a silver gray. But they're so nice and I like that these are thick. Some pinwheel pillows are not thick, they like too flat, but these are thick. And they on the small side. I have a real big silver one on my bed and I got that from Ross. And I think that pillow is like a 22 or a 24 is large. Got this pillowcase from Amazon. I love the texture and the pattern on it. It's so gorgeous. It's like that weave material. Let me get close so you can see it. It's so gorgeous. They made this well. It's plain in the back. It's not like to me too white. It's like a cream again. But this is gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty and it's heavy quality I love that and this last pillow cover is the only one that I got that the design is on both sides so it's that canvas material also with the chevron um, design it's like gray white like a dark gray light gray dark gray with some like blossom flowers on the sides and it's on both sides I love it that eggplant color gorgeous zipper you can't do like the chop in it because how the pillow inserts are made they just bounce back so you can't put no chop in here Okay, so I'm done using my inserts and my pillow covers that I bought. And this pillow, it's a big old tag, it came with my accent chair. I think I'm gonna cover it and just use this one and keep both of these that I got because I bought two of them. They don't come two in a pack. You gotta buy one each. Um, 
And I think I might keep it on the accent chair. I don't think I want it on my section. Room. So I'm gonna show you my accent chair also. If you've been watching my videos, you know that's the chair I usually film on. But after I finish my section, room, I'm gonna just show you what I did with the accent chair also. I'm gonna start with my side first, which is the chase part. This is mommy section. And you can fold your throws any type of way you want, it's up to you. I changed my throws so many ways. See, I got my little foldable table right there. I did buy a deep freezer because my freezer in my apartment is just entirely too small. So my husband, he went and got a freezer. So it is what it is. And feel free to leave a comment down below. You know, if you got any suggestions, positive comments, not negative comments. I'm not sure if I want my pillows face forward or sometimes I see them, they be like side by side like that. I'm not sure yet. Cause I know I'm gonna make this video and then after I finish the video, I'm gonna switch the pillows around again, so. <laughs> I think I want like a pinwheel pillow. I like how they just throw it on here. Leave a comment down below if you like these pinwheel, you know, donut, donut shaped pillows. And do you cut your tags off or leave these big old things on there? They are so annoying. I'm trying to see if that's too much gray, like silver gray over here. I still want to get some purple ones like this. I got one eggplant dark one that's big, but it's on my bed. I need one for my section. So this is like a corner chase. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So I'm going to style the corner part right now. I think I'm going to use this pillow. I'm going to get another style pillowcase and put it on this. So I'm not going to use this today. That's the pillow I got from World Market. It looks burgundy and... I even asked the girls in the store, like, what does it look like, purple? They're like, yeah, it's like a dark eggplant. No, that is burgundy. So I'm gonna just get a pillowcase off of Amazon and put it on that. I think I'm missing more silver. I'm gonna just get like a glitter style, like silver pillowcase. I think I need like a pop of like shiny glitter silver. Comment down below, what size pillows do you use? You use 18 by 18, 20 by 20, 22, 24, let me know. I don't want too many huge pillows. I don't know why, I just did. Okay, so right now, this is what I did. This is my side, the chase side. And I just put the throw, you know, blanket over there. And these are the pillows that 
I had for a while. So these already been like used and I wanted to keep these here because this is the spot my husband sits. And I don't want him squashing my nice pillows that I just opened up. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna keep these there and get, like I said, uh, like rhinestone, shiny, silver pillowcase to go on top of the other pillow that I have and put it like right here. Cause I think it needs some like shiny silver for some reason. And I did this side like this. Now I know I'm gonna change it again. I know I am. And the holidays is coming, my birthday is coming Saturday. So <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, get this video out. But I know for sure I'm probably gonna like get some more silver pillowcases and just probably like change it around again. We'll see, but this is what I did so far. So I'm not sure if I wanna double them, you know, closer or what. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still trying to debate if I want them turned to the side, you know, not so uniform style, like a little messy, a little bit, just like I just threw it on there. <laughs> I kind of like that style, like I didn't try too hard, you know? <laughs> okay, Bougie, so I bought a throw blanket like a few days ago from Burlington and I think I'm going to put it on the sectional because I don't like the fact that I got one throw blanket on my sectional and I get cold, so why not put two? So I got this eggplant color throw blanket from Burlington and the company is Taya or Daya. Don't, don't get me lying. Sadi. And it's a fox fur rabbit throw. And it has the size 50 inches by 60. I never had a rabbit throw before and it was $19.99. And it has like the Sherpa in the inside. So I'm gonna put this on my sectional and see how it looks. But I like the fact that it was a dark color. I've been seeing like lighter colors, like lavender, lilac, you know, but nothing like eggplant color. And eggplant purple is my favorite purple, like a darker purple. So this is it. It's nice and thick and heavy, just what I need. Just the name again.
comment down below if you have any suggestions what I should do back here. Like I told you, I might put like some tall plants or like a skinny table with some family pictures and some more plants. I don't know. I'm not putting any lamps. Like I said, I gave all my lamps away. I have enough lighting in this apartment. Um, I just don't need it. And I gave away my coffee table set, like my end tables, everything. So I got to do something else back there. So this is my accent chair that I got from Walmart. It's like tough style. It's a velvet material, eggplant color. So I just kept the butterfly, you know, eggplant metallic pillowcase over here. Because I already had one over here. And I put the silver metallic rhinestone pillow on this side. Because nobody sits over here. And I got this throw blanket also from Kirkland's in the summer. It was on sale. It's gray. So soft. I love that one. So... I don't think I want this on a sectional because I don't want the cats or my daughter, my husband to mess it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video, bougies, and feel free to comment down below. Like I said, if you have any suggestions on what I should do with the pillows and with the back of the sectional. Um, this sectional, to me, it belongs in like a family room with more open space, like no wall back here, maybe a dining room table, but my apartment is not big enough. So I'm trying to have like other options of what to do in the back of this sectional. And I don't want it to look too overcrowded because to me, I have enough furniture pieces for the space and square footage that I have. But I hope you enjoyed this video, Fuji's, on how I tried to style my new section. I'm so happy it came in just in time before my birthday. I hope you enjoy affordable home decor, affordable shopping hauls, lifestyle videos, beauty videos. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my full Fuji family, hit that notification bell. Till next time, bye Fuji's.